broke the color barrier in the SEC, and, and it came at a time when the civil rights was in full bloom. And, and, and the choice of Perry and I coming to Vanderbilt, we, we were very conscious of the fact. Uh, we both wanted to participate in the change to make America better. You know, Vanderbilt had to recruit Perry and I, and so their Vera Vanderbilt was making a commitment to change as well. The movie's called Triumph for a reason, and you know Perry's triumph in the classroom, out of the classroom, is a story that no one will ever forget. This is a bittersweet moment for us. My uncle, he represented himself and the family with great dignity uh, and pride, and he did things in the right way. Well, he had an unerring moral compass. He made the world a better place, and I'm grateful that he trusted me with his story. There's a picture here that you can see where after a game, and remember, this is, Perry's the only African-American out there and he's playing in the rough and tough SEC. He collides or something or fouls or gets fouled by a white guy and he's laying on the ground and Perry's helping him up. They don't even do that now. That's the gentleman in Perry was. He was always a gentleman. Um, our nation is facing some very serious challenges and those kinds of stories can be used as tools uh, to extend those conversations, much needed conversations. Well, you, we're all on this earth to do something. We all have a different life purpose and to know that life purpose earlier on and to be a pioneer that gives us uh, a lot of courage to push forward to whatever life purpose that we have. Everybody has within them their own personal strength and my uncle found that early in life and it helped center him and prepare him for the challenges that he had to face and I'm just proud to be a part of that legacy.